Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you the top 5 ID3 tag editors for your Mac OS. Basically what these programs allow you to do is add a lot of metadata such as the song name, the track number, the artist, the album name, basically information that changes among different players, but adding this ID3 data allows them to be the same on all platforms. So the first one is called Music Brains Picard. To use it we just have to click on Add Files, and I'm going to go ahead and open up a song. And after I select it, you can see it brings up all of this information below. It doesn't have a whole lot of information about the artist or the album, so I can actually go in and add those into the new value. I just have to double click and I can put them in. And once we're done making all the changes, we just have to click on save, and it will automatically save all of this information into our file. No more tampering needed. The next program is called iSkySoft Audio Recorder. This allows you to do a few things, including ID3 editing. You can also record songs using this program. After we've opened up the program, we can go to library and then go to library, import local audio. And after my file's imported, I can go in here and edit the data so I can add a title and I can add all the other information about it. I can either drag or also just click on it and add album artwork if necessary. And once you deselect this area over here and just click away, it will automatically write all of that metadata into your file. The third option is to use a program called ID3 Editor. All we have to do to use this is open the program and click on the open button. And then I'll select an audio file to open it. And this program gives us basically a lot of options. Most of the stuff that iTunes has and a few more. So we can add our title and all of that. You can of course go back and use an older ID3 standard which has less metadata. Or you can even use extended or podcast. But once you're happy with all of your adjustments, just click on update and that file will automatically receive all of that metadata. The next method is to use Wondershare Tunes Go. After downloading and installing and opening this program, we can actually go into our iTunes library and look at songs. And if we're missing some information from one of the files, we can go over to the right side and click on this edit button. And this will allow us to go in and adjust the options to fix up our metadata. And then once we're done, we just have to click on save and it will save that metadata. And finally, we have Audacity, which is a program most people have heard about. Most people don't know how great this program is, despite it being free. To, to add ID3 tags using Audacity, we just need to import one of our files. And after it's loaded, we can go to File, Edit Metadata. And in here, we'll bring up all of the metadata. We can adjust them by just clicking on them. And they also have a lot of presets with some of these. And we can just go through like all the other programs and adjust and delete any of the options. And then click on OK when you're done and it will automatically save that into the file. That's it for this tutorial. Those are your top 5 ID3 tag editors for the Mac OS.